the uh, place that would make it very bearable. Uh, that would be the uh, Hurricane <laughs> Harbor. <laughs> Six Flags runs this, of course, a very popular site, water park, and that is a good place to go when the heat is on like it has been. We have a little bit of a south wind today for the rest of the day. You can expect temperatures maybe you might notice a few degrees cooler than it has been the last couple of days. Probably what you'll notice more than anything is in the afternoon. We've got more in clouds, and they'll be around not only through the afternoon, but the evening as well as temperatures will fall back into the 80s. And with this wind uh, staying brisk to the evening, it'll make for a pleasant evening if you just want to stay out of the heat all afternoon long, stay in the air conditioner by the pool. Notice all this already. This moisture streaming up onto the coastal counties of Texas and to Louisiana. Now, this is an indicator of something further down to the south. This is a tropical disturbance, a low pressure system developing that's getting into the western part of the Gulf. It's not going to develop into anything tropical of threat, but it is going to bring a lot of moisture into Texas, and that's good news. You can see it welling along the coastal counties again, but coming up closer to us on Monday. Doesn't quite get here. If you remember last weekend, we were talking about this very thing, and we had a little bit further to the north, but it will get enough moisture into North Texas to change the weather pattern just a little bit because the high pressure that's been sponsoring all this very hot, dry weather is lifting up into the Midwest, getting pushed by all this system coming out of the tropics, and that means we only have these 40, 50 percent chances of rain, but they are much better than that 20, 30 percent chance of rain we peaked at just about a week and a half ago. So this afternoon, don't expect much in rain chances unless you're around Corsicana, Hillsborough, or down to the south. You at least have a 10 to 20 percent chance for an afternoon thunderstorm. So coverage is very small today, and coverage is very small tomorrow, though it reaches all the way up to the Red River by Paris, that 10 percent chance. But a 30 percent chance starts to show up in our southeast. Again, this is the effects of all this tropical moisture coming on shore and getting further up the coastal plain. We have a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain on Monday. This looks like to be our best chance of rain in the week ahead, and it looks like Tuesday not too bad as well. But this helps and that this is going to cool us down just a little bit. Temperatures today, like I said, in the mid-90s and tomorrow very much the same, just a little bit more in clouds and a little bit more in humidity. But notice what happens to highs Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as the rain chances really pick up. We go to something more typical of this time of year. 39 of the last 41 days have had above normal temperatures, and though we've had no record highs since May 1st, look at the average temperature. It's the hottest run of weather since the first day of May to June 15th on record in North Texas. So we could use a little break from the heat, and that's exactly what we're getting, a little break from the heat. Not so much this weekend. Father's Day is going to be warm as well with only a 10% chance of rain. But notice we go to a 40% chance of rain for the Metroplex on Monday. It kicks down to a 30% chance on Tuesday, but with all this moisture around, the 20% chance of thunderstorms looks real. I mean, really, we'll have thunderstorms every afternoon, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which is the summer solstice, the official start of summer, and going into Friday, temperatures in the mid-90s, and still these storm chances linger. Yeah, it's much